Inflation is out of control and it's going to ruin the economy. Or is it? Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody. Joe Werber coming at you. And I really want to talk about inflation because it keeps coming up in the news. It's in the media. It's all over the place that inflation is taking over. Prices are skyrocketing. It's going to it's going to just bankrupt the economy. It's going to ruin the stock market. I don't agree. I'm on Powell's side when I say that this is transitory. This is temporary. This is just the media pushing hype. And instead of just talking about it, let's dig in to the numbers. And let's start with the one that everybody's discussing. Let's start with gas prices. And yes, if we go back 12 months from today, gas prices up 37%. But why is that? Well, because 12 months ago, no one was driving. We were in the middle of the pandemic. The whole country was shut down. If you go back five years from today, gas price goes from a 37% increase and drops down to a 7% increase, which is, I get it, it's still pretty high. But if we go back a decade, gas is actually down negative 1%. So it's all in how you pick and choose your numbers. It's all in what time periods you're picking to look at, to dig into deeper. And yes, I can make it look ugly by throwing up that 37% figure and saying that you know, it's the president's fault, or it's Congress's fault, or it's COVID's fault. Yeah, things are more expensive. Let's let's look at lumber. Lumber, year over year, is up 126%, which is a crazy, outrageous number. But if we go back about four and a half, five years, the price of lumber is actually flat. And as you can see, the price of lumber has come down dramatically from its high. Things are starting to average out. Let's look at food. We can see that food, inflation on food over the last year has gone up 100%. And that's that's a big increase in inflation. But if we look at the last decade, food inflation is flat. We really haven't seen an increase in inflation in food. It just goes to show you again, when you look at the different numbers, when you pick and choose, you can make any number look crazy. You can make the cost of goods and services seem outrageous, or you can make them seem more in line. But the one that I'm really excited about, and I've talked about this before, is the CPIW, which is the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners, and that's how we base Social Security's COLA, or Social Security's Cost of Living Adjustment, or the actual increase in Social Security benefits for those people who are receiving Social Security, but more importantly, for those people who haven't received Social Security, you're still going to get that increase in your benefit in the future. And now that number comes out in September. So look at September of last year to September of this year. And we don't have September's number yet because September isn't over. But if we look at August of last year to August of this year, we can see that coal is running at about 5.85%. So the positive out of all this inflation increase is that the prices of goods and services will start to level out. We're seeing lumber prices come down. We're seeing gas prices change. We're seeing food prices for the short term continue to rise. And that has to do with growing seasons. That too will come back to the norm. But we get to capture this gain in our social security, which I personally feel is the best pension out there. And if you haven't caught my videos on social security, make sure you check those out because it's one of the best income streams you can get in retirement if you handle it correctly. And my goodness, a 5.85% possible increase. It could be slightly less, you know, once the next month's numbers come out, but that could mean a lot more income for people. And the beautiful thing about social security is if you start later and start with a larger benefit, you get a bigger increase when you have these large colas. If you start at 62, like about 53% of Americans do, you're starting with a smaller benefit. Your cost of living adjustments are going to be smaller for the rest of your life. That is not a good way to go. Make sure you understand that Powell is 100% accurate here. These inflationary numbers we are seeing are just temporary. They are calming down. This is good news. This means that while when you're doing your financial planning, you do have to use inflation. And we can see that over the last 30 years, the average inflation in the United States has only been 2.23%. 
when you run your numbers for retirement, I would recommend using a higher number. We use about a 20% higher number. We use about 2.6% because that's what the COLA has been for Social Security. But make sure you use some sort of an inflation number because the biggest complaint that people have in retirement is that they didn't plan on inflation eating away the spending power of their dollar. Because you retire in your 60s, you make it into your 90s. That's 30 years. So you got to use a number. You got to understand inflation is real, but it is not going to be as crazy as it has been. Things are going to calm down. I hope you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit subscribe, comment below for ideas for future videos, and I'll see you next week.